symptoms called a hyperthyroid state. Now, when you think of hyperthyroidism, what is the number one cause? It is, in fact, Graves' disease. You need to start training your brain to think like the exam writer. That is how you're going to outsmart every single exam writer and smash through every single question that you do. So, the moment you start suspecting the patient's got a hyperthyroid state, what is your first best initial test? That is going to be, in fact, TSH. Remember, if your thyroid gland is producing too much thyroid hormones such as T4 and T3, what's going to happen? You're going to have a negative feedback to your TSH as well as TRH. So you always want to pick TSH as your first best initial test. You get a TSH, number one, and number two, the second test you're always going to order pretty much in most thyroid cases is going to be a free T4. Now they've already told us in the last lines that the patient's got a suppressed TSH and an elevated free T4. So now they're asking us the question, what is the most specific test that we're gonna to order to diagnose a patient with Graves' disease? Now, when it comes to Graves' disease, why does it happen? It happens because you have an antibody that's being produced in your body, which is going and stimulating your thyroid glands to enhance production of thyroid hormones. And what is the name of this thyroid antibody? It is known as TSH receptor antibody. And therefore your answer to this question is gonna be answer D. Now, remember, I always say every wrong answer is the right answer to a different question. So if you look at the answer A, you have anti-thyroperoxidase antibody. When is that one gonna be the right 